soon as they hop, you hit it again. Quick. So if I hit my Taitoshi, he hops over, I'm gonna hit Osotogari. We've been working on what if they hop over Taitoshi. Right. We've worked on hitting knee drops. We've worked on hitting Taitoshi again. We've worked on like a ko a Kouchi and an Ouchi. This time let's work on like a Osoto or a cross body Osoto type. So if I hit my Taitoshi, he hops over. I'm gonna hit Osotogari. We're on this leg. Important part of this, I gotta control his head, his shoulders. Where his head and shoulders go is where he's gonna go. Okay. If I just come out here and hook this and don't do nothing with his, with his head, I'm getting thrown. Okay. So I fit into Taitoshi. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reach out here. Drop. This is real good for a long-legged person. Hi, Toshi, here. Hi, Toshi, here. Here, I'm, I'm hooking right here more than just going reaping. Which angle are you throwing them? You throw them directly side on, on the lateral That's plane? Not, there? Yeah, kind of. Kind of right here. Okay. So could you depend depending on how far he hops? Okay. If he just barely steps over, then I'll come across here. If he really hops where he's facing me, then it's more back. More to the rear side, okay. All right. And just to add what Ken was showing here. So just some points when you're coming off that Tayotoshi, you know, you, you want to extend it. You, know, you want to link them together because you, you don't want to let them off the hook. Okay, so that's, you, if he hops around that, he thinks he's safe. Well, he's just racking it up tighter on himself. That's, so that's, Osotogari is a good attempt. It's follow-up attack. So when you're coming in, it's, when I'm coming in, I try this Tayotoshi, and he starts to hop around. So I'll come around here. So, so say he's hopped around my Tayotoshi there, okay? All right, now it depends on whatever grip. If you've got a lapel and sleeve grip, you can set them up here and just use that to punch them. I mean, you use that to drive with that, okay? If you get a grip up here like we tall guys tend to have up here, this is where you suck them in tighter, okay? What you want to do is close the gap. Now, when he's hopped around, okay, now there are really kind of two options. You can go straight to the side, and that's often what you'll see. Okay, so it's, 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 as soon as he's hopped, okay, let's say he's come back here, just kind of hop around. No, I try that hop. He's hopped around my Taiotoshi. Now you can just close things in, right? So if I try to open him up too much, you know, I'm, I'm giving him too much space so he can still cut, he can stop it. So close things in, take a short, choppy step that way, okay, where that toe hits, points that, that's where he's going to go. Now when you hook, several things to consider. When you're hooking, you're actually Hooking the leg is more of a gaki type hooking movement, not a big reaping type movement. Okay, because you know if you 
try to reap them too hard, she's, she's gone. He's going to get out of there, okay? So when you do this, you want to and you want to chop them. Now look at my toe. My toe is pointed straight down. Don't aim with your heel. It's weak, okay? Aim with your toe right down like that. And now I can drive them straight in, and you can just close them in, okay? Now, from here, and for say, say he's done a hip cut, you can stop that second tattoo like that. Boom. Now, see, I've got that leg hooked here. I haven't lost it. I can just keep hopping around with the pink and so the guard, hop around the angle so you can change directions. So some key things to remember, when he comes around, when you try to side hook, hook, he hops around it, then, okay? All right, close him in, step, hook, and drive your head in the direction you want to throw. Everything's going there, okay? Now, again, if he's, if he's a really strong guy, he's the hip cut, I've still got him. I may even still be able to catch him with like a, an Ogaruma forward, you know, if he's kind of a weak hip shallow there, you know, a shallow hip. Or if he's really strong and blocking that, I'll just keep popping around and drive the head in the direction I want to throw him. So I just come around here, boom like that, keep coming around and hop and throw him. Follow it up. It's a, it's a great follow-up from Tayotoshi. So what Ken was trying to emphasize here, get that leg hooked. I know he's going around individually telling you guys, it's not a big reaping move. It's not a big, it's a hooking move more than you chopping them down. It's like chopping down a big tree. We're bend it. Close everything up. Alright? There's some things to add. Keep practicing. Taitoshi here.